Hi guys and welcome to Student Data Management System developed in Excel using VBA. Let me show you guys how this beautiful tutorial works. Now, right here we have the student's subject and we have the grades for each subject. And uh, we also have a calendar if you want to change the date of uh, the result you can just double click on it like we have 24 now and today's date is 29 there and right here we have the course depend on the course selected by the student or by the course tutor and here we have the student details and the guidance details and over here we have the either the student is a home student overseas student in one of the universities accommodation if the student is on exchange program or on scholarship there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add these details straight into the sheet that we have in here and we also expect these very student details to appear right here so let's do that so i'm going to go back in here and let's click on add there once you click on add lola kinsley details should appear right here there we go that's lola kinsley details and the list box here also display the details of the student lola kinsley now let's go back in here we can always reset or suppose you want to change the grades around all you just need to do is maybe increase the grades or whatever you want to change it to or reduce it the choice is yours and just click on result there we go you can see the total sum up the ranking of the student supposing the student is an average student let's see what's going to happen to the ranking there we go so check out the result now the student is a second class upper student okay so let's reset and see what's going to happen with the reset reset it all so we can then enter another student details and the student name let's assume the student name is James email What about the parents' details? Let's say the brother. And um, brother's name is John. And confirm the email again. There we go. Come right in here. And there, the course that James is on, let's assume, is into computer science. There we go. These are the details of the course. And right here, he happens to be home student is not on any of these is not an overseas student he stays at home he's not an exchange student and is not on scholarship right let's see that is BSE and this let's say final year let's click on the subject select the subject event driven object oriented programming system analysis um, let's go for data graphics computer games animation math and digital graphic and the score here those are his score and let's see what he will wind up with so all we just need to do now is to click on result there we go second class lower okay james happens to be an average student so let's come in here now details of james is not right here yet so let's go back in here and click on add but but just before that it's not also on this on the spreadsheet itself so now click on add there go straight into the list box james details is now here and if we go to the spreadsheet that's james details there so guys this is just an overview 
and I'll see you guys shortly with a full tutorial.